Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Don't worry, if Britain leaves the European Union, then German car manufacturers will make Angela Merkel give us a good deal. That was the claim made time and time again during last year's EU referendum. The Leave campaign was very confident that Europe's most powerful political leader would listen to her most important manufacturing sector. So are the likes of BMW and Porsche pushing the German Chancellor to cut the UK some slack? Nagam Chetty has been to Leipzig to find out. The Germans wouldn't want to put up trade barriers because that would mean that German car workers would be out of a job. Do you seriously suppose that they are going to be so insane as to allow tariffs to be imposed between Britain and Germany? Germany needs us. We're its biggest market. That was then. But now, here in Germany, the feeling is very different. The automotive sector is concerned about how Theresa May is approaching Brexit negotiations and their financial impact. Priority number one is keep the internal market and the European Union together. Most of the cars we export, we export to the European Union, the 27 countries, to Italy, to France, uh, to many parts of the European Union. And second priority, our exports to Britain. A hard Brexit would definitely be not a good uh, solution for both sides. Why is this relationship so important? The German auto industry has a lot invested in the UK. It runs 100 production sites, employing around 9,000 people. More than half of all the new cars we sell are built by German-owned companies. They also depend on us. We're Germany's biggest customer. We bought 30 billion euros worth of their vehicles last year, 800,000 cars in 2016. That's nearly a fifth of Germany's automobile exports. There are concerns that the length of time Theresa May needs to negotiate us out of the EU has been underestimated by the British government. Two years for the complex negotiations uh, of more than 100 parts of a, uh, a treaty is not realistic. You could do it in two years if you take, for example, the Norway solution, stay in the internal market, stay in the customs union, accept some preconditions. That could be done in two years. Which the Prime Minister has rejected. Which the Prime Minister has rejected. Therefore, as long as these existing models are rejected, any other solution needs longer. And when it comes to what's most in Germany's interests, this long-time ally of Angela Merkel sings from the same hymn sheet as the German Chancellor. Everyone who has a production site at the very moment in Britain is concerned uh, about the developments uh, which say that you want a hard Brexit. If the doors to Europe would be in one or another way partly closed, uh, then uh, production in Britain would suffer. But while this remains Theresa May's stance, uncertainty is still the buzzword among business, something the auto industry is getting used to. All of Porsche's car plants, like this one in Leipzig, are based in Germany. However, the UK is its biggest export market in Europe. Record sales were seen in 2016. 13,300 cars were bought. So companies like this cannot afford to ignore Brexit and are mindful of how negotiations might progress. My biggest concern is time, uh, because time creates uncertainty, and uncertainty can affect business. So if time is too long until the negotiations are completed, uh, the market will lose. It's something that many industry bosses are preoccupied with. It will be a little bit more difficult seeing exactly what changes uh, will affect uh, the market, what changes will affect the exchange of persons, the exchange of goods, uh, but the relationship itself 
uh, will be as good as before. However, we've been told that the bond can be broken. There are alternative manufacturing hubs vying for a service we currently provide. Eastern Europe is proving competitive in places like Hungary, the Czech Republic and Poland. It's not given that any of our countries, Germany not, Britain not, will produce in five or ten years as many cars at home as it does uh, today. And the political precondition, the trade precondition, is so important and, and one should always reflect that if one is a political leader, what consequence does my decision has, have on production in my own country? Theresa May says the UK economy is a priority, but a UK outside the EU single market and customs union could, it seems, face the very real prospect of moving down the pecking order when it comes to Germany's favoured trading partners.